Michelson. I'm Miss 2011 Transworld Motocross. I'm here at Transworld Motocross Slam, sponsored by UNIT. I think this race is awesome because it's man on man. It's just two guys competing and it's only two laps so they race as fast as they can versus pacing themselves. And for every lap the best man moves on and they get to win $5,000 and the cover of Transworld Motocross Magazine. So who are you pulling for today? I think Justin Mogul. He's pretty cute and his voice is pretty cute too. <laughs> the format of the slam is simple. Eight riders compete, two at a time, two laps at a time, until there's a champion crowned. That rider takes home $5,000 and the cover of the December issue of Transworld Motocross. Oh, this is, the event's cool. I came out last year, watched. This year I'm uh, racing, so it's going to be cool. Get to race with all the buddies, pretty much know everyone here. So it's going to be fun. It's a good time to head on racing. It's going to be awesome. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be cool. Right? Two laps, hold nothing back, right? Wide open. Let it go. On the 450 today. I think it's awesome. So far, track's good. Everything, it's a fun race, so. Um, and I'm hearing that my voice is pretty sexy, so that's that's getting me ready for the day. I think I'll be all right. So what do you think of the format? It's kind of different from the races. Uh, it's kind of like the World Mini or something. Two lap dash. It is. It's. I mean, I just came off amateur, so the short motos is nothing new to me. So should be good. Need to get a start, definitely. So I'm riding a uh, 450, tuned by Grant Hutch, bringing the heat today. So should be good. Bogle almost didn't get to bring the heat that he joked about when the automatic decompression system in his 450 malfunction. Fortunately, he was able to borrow an unfamiliar machine from a suspension technician, and he started the first heat against Chris Plouffe on a bike he'd never ridden before. Plouffe took advantage of the situation by overtaking Bogle on the step-up jump, but his lead was short-lived as he went down two turns later. From that point on, it was easy sailing for Bogle, and he took the first heat race win. So, um, congratulations for getting through the first round. So what was going on with your bike? Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I couldn't even get it kicked over, so something wasn't right. Hopped on uh, one of the uh, suspension guys' bikes and uh, made it work. Bars are about in the fender. And, Clutch is roasted, but it was good. Chris Bell, I looked out there, I think he was riding really good. So, I don't know, so far so good. It's fun. All see right. how far I can get on this thing. Awesome. I hope to see you in the next round. It's cool. I didn't do it last year, so this is the first year doing it. And uh, it looks cool. I'm excited to just do a head to head against the other guy and, and uh, maybe a little slamming going on and then uh, try to make it to the end, get, get, get some money and have some fun. I don't know, it's the first time here. Checked it out last year online, which is pretty sick, man. I'm stoked. Ready to do some slamming? Yeah, you know I got that. <laughs> if, if you brought somebody here to bring a little spice to the, to the uh, you know, flavor today, that's me, dude. I'm not afraid to slam. Um. Though Nico as he had promised us to spice things up on his Valley Yamaha, the flavor went a little bit flat when his bike blew up only a few turns into the heat race. While Izzy tried in vain to refire his Yamaha, Ben LeMay ran away with an easy win. So easy, in fact, that we cut it one lap short. Ben, congratulations to the next round. How you feeling? So good. Um, yeah, it was just an easy race. I don't know what happened to, to Nico, but uh, yeah, just move on to the next round and try to get some money. Awesome. You got to do what you got to do here. Congrats. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. I'm looking at this gate right now. Here, come on, let's look at it with you, too. We got this rut right here going this way, and this one going this way. That's, that's called the Transworld Slam, folks. We're slamming right off the gate. We make the ruts like this, and we start out because it is the slam, and we'll be slamming as soon as we take off the gate. Two guys, two laps. You know, I think it's sick. It uh, definitely makes for some really good racing, so it should be fun. Let's you like it? Are you sure you guys are ready for this one? <laughs> First heat race winner Justin Bogle wasn't the only rider on an unfamiliar machine. 
We talked Nick Paluzzi into racing our KX450 test bike after not riding or exercising since the Paula National. Though Paluzzi looked good and gave Jimmy Alperton a run, he ultimately could not keep the pace set by the Valley Yamaha rider. Paluzzi, however, did get the crowd on its feet when he tripled up the staircase in the far section of the track. In the end, it was Alperson with the win. Congratulations on making it to this round. How are you feeling? Good. Bike was good. Yeah? Um, track was good. I'd like to give it up to uh, Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you to uh, Rockstar Valley Yamaha <laughs> and PLD, Alpine Star Boots, Showy Helmets, DBS Shoes, and of course Transworld Slam for putting this wonderful event on. Awesome. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I did it like two years ago in 09 and it was pretty fun, but now I got the Moto Concepts Yamaha and uh, no feeling good. Uh, they don't call it the slam for nothing, so we'll see how it goes out there. It's gonna be fun. Looks alright. We left the track rough this year. Um, there's some ruts. A lot of water. I mean, it looks kind of like rain rutted down the straightaway, but uh, it should be good. No, we're out here having fun and showed up on the little bike to show them how it's done and see what we can do. Let's keep it on two wheels this year. Last year, DNA Shredstick's star racing Yamaha rider Kyle Cunningham had the crowd on his feet with his wild riding style. For the second year in a row, Cunningham elected to show up with his more familiar 250, knowing well that his competition would be all mounted on 450s. While Cunningham rode the wheels off his bike, Canada protected his lines and used the horsepower advantage to take the win. Hey Jake, how you doing? Congratulations. It was a little rough start, but then you pulled it together. How are you feeling? Uh, good. It was a little close to the beginning, but then I was able to get a little gap. I'm a little out of breath right now, but uh, okay. it was fun. It was good. Things looked good for Ben Lamoney at the start of the first semifinal. At the drop of the gate, the Alaskan took control of the lead, but an inside move by Bogle in the second turn allowed him to slingshot pass over the back step up jump. Once in the lead, Bogle protected the inside lines on his broad bike and raced off with the win and a ticket to the main event. Congrats, Justin. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? Feeling good. Uh, no, my training with Robbie Rain is really paying off with these two lap motos. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Hopefully, hopefully keep it going. Keep keep progressing here. Maybe uh, make it to the finals. Whatever. I don't know what's next even. I don't even know the format. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just hanging out. So you're getting used to your borrowed bike? A little bit, yeah. It's uh, starting to feel a little bit more like home. So maybe my next time. Good. Awesome. Hope to see you in the finals. It was Valley Yamaha versus Moto Concepts Yamaha in the semifinal, and Albertson took control with the drop of the gate. Just when it looked like smooth sailing for Albertson out front, Canada rolled the dice, taking a wide line that paid off in the end. He slingshot in the lead and advanced to the final. Tell me a little bit about the pass for the one that you just had. Uh, well, I just went to try that outside. It was getting down to the wire, so went outside and made the pass, and it worked. So I'm even more tired now than I was the first one, so I can't really talk. But awesome. Well, it's good to see you again. As Bogo and Canada lined up for the final two laps of the Transworld Slam, Bogo's mechanics raced to the starting line with his familiar race bike. Yeah. 
with a glitch in the decompression system remedy. Vogel started the race on his familiar bike in the shed. At the drop of the gate, the Geico Honda rider took control of the race and was never headed as he raced to the first professional win of his young career. Though Bogle led the two-lap final from start to finish, Canada did keep him honest to board his Moto Concepts Yamaha. Hey Justin, congratulations on the win. You got your bike back. How do you feel? Um, definitely felt a lot better that time. Yeah. Had my uh, had my bike back and. Uh, Hutch and uh, Kibby working hard in the pits there to get it ready, so uh, I don't know if it felt good. Jake was riding awesome though, he kept me on this whole time, so it's fun. Awesome, anything else you can tell us about the race? Um, inside gate was good, get the whole shot, so that was the main part. It's hard to pass in two laps, so right. that was the main thing, got good starts. All right, well congratulations, you deserve the win. Thank you. How do you feel about the $5,000? I'm pretty excited about it, to be, to be honest. So, uh, that and the cover, you know? Yeah, and you got the cover of Trans World. Yeah, so uh, thanks to uh, Don and everyone at Trans World for uh, putting this on. It's awesome. Very cool. Thank you. It's awesome. A little nerve wracking. It was definitely, I think it was scripted, honestly. So, <laughs> made it more suspenseful and more exciting for everybody, I guess. So, I don't know, thank you for uh, for holding it for me a little longer. And then, uh, Gilmar for letting me borrow his bike. That thing was <laughs> clap. But thank you anyway. And Hutch and Kibby for getting my bike ready for the main. So, any, uh, any idea what was wrong with it? I don't know. Couldn't start it. I don't have the Incredible Hulk's right leg, so it wasn't happening. But, um, are we going to see that apple turnover? I'll throw, I'll throw some Granny Smiths. I'll throw some Granny Smiths. Bad jump. Cover shot. Okay. okay.